Hello everyone. Very good morning. Just give me a moment. Okay, fine. Now I'm good to go. Just sharing my screen. Please let me know once it is visible for everyone. Okay, hope now you are able to see my screen. Can you please confirm if you can see my PPT over here? Uh, I can't see it. They don't have it. Yeah, I can. Thank you for the confirmation. So I'm just going to uh, mute everyone over here in case if you have any question, please feel free to write over here in the chat box or at the end of the session, we can. You can ask the question and I'm going to give the answer. Hope it's fine with everyone. Okay. So now I'm good to start. Let's go and start. Going to start the recording. Hello everyone, very good morning and welcome to the ABAP on HANA demo session. In this session, I'm going to take you throughout the complete syllabus, which I will be covering in my upcoming training, which is going to be started from 1st of November. So let's go and start. Here in this session, we will understand the relevance of ABAP on HANA why ABAP on AHANA is required. And in ABAP on HANA, what are the stuff we are going to do? What we are supposed to do, okay? So all those important topics, which are mainly part of the code push down. Okay. So in order to understand the concept of code push down, we first need to understand about the R3 architecture. And then gradually we will go through the evolution of uh, S4HANA or business suit on HANA technology. And in terms of, in context of that, we will try to understand why a BAP on HANA is required and what are the different elements of a BAP on HANA, which we have to put focus on with respect to real-time project or the question which is going to be asked in the interview. So let's start with the R3 architecture. As we know that SAP system is based upon the R3 architecture. However, it started with R1 in 1972, then 1970. 6 R2 and then 
around 1990, you know, R3 came into picture. And then after it's R3 only. So here we have the application server and we have the database server over here. This is our database server. And we have the client also, right? So maybe uh, we can represent our client with uh, this. So this is our client system, your local GUI, your desktop system or your laptop system which is going to be operated by this user by this developer okay so this is your local system getting operated your laptop or your desktop and this laptop or desktop is connected with your application server and this application server is connected with your database server right so this is what we have the r3 architecture all right now now, just let me connect this, okay? So it will make more sense. Now, here, when you were not having the HANA DB, what you were having? Here, you were having the non HANA DB. So under the non HANA DB, you are having Oracle, right? You are having the max db you are having the sybase right you are having a db2 db6 and similarly like informix and all different types of db you are having so basically we are talking about over here the non hana db when you were having the non hana db most of the code you were writing here at the application server layer okay most of the code you were writing at the application server layer. Why? Because your database server like Oracle, MaxDB, Sybase, DB2 or DB6 not used to be that much efficient to tackle the load of you know, different types of business logic. So generally what we used to do, whatever the data we used to require, those data we used to fetch from this database server and put it over here at the application server layer and using the loop or using the control statement or using the control break statement, we used to manipulate the data and analyze the data. And then we used to represent to the GUI, right? SAP GUI. So this was our approach. So we were not supposed to give the maximum load to the database server because our database was not that much powerful. It was powerful, but not that much powerful, okay? If you compare with the HANA database, okay? So our approach was bottom up approach. So you can see that this you can, you know, uh, compare with bottom and this you can compare with uh, up. So from bottom to application server, you were fetching the data and you were manipulating the data over here. You were not writing any business logic, any case and when statement, any if and else statement, right? Even you were not supposed to use the aggregate function, right? Your database was that much a delicate, right? You were not supposed to use the aggregate function because it was not giving you the good performance. So aggregate function like mean, max, average, count, all these things we are not supposed to use inside our SQL, open SQL, right? Instead, we were using the sum statement, whatever it is required, we first fetch the data from the database server, put it over here, use the uh, loop statement, loop at internal table, you know, those are very efficient at the application server layer, right? Because it has been built in that way that the logic processing, processing of the logic 
processing of the business logic is very much efficient at the application server so hope i'm able to put the context over here you understood how it used to happen earlier right when your database server was not the hana database server so in a summarized way in one sentence i would like to say that earlier the approach was bottom up approach fetching simply the required data at the application server layer and processing with the help of different types of you know control statement like loop if else you know or control break statement right and then representing the data over here but when the hana came into picture right around 2010 and 2011 right then the scenario started getting changed okay then the scenario started getting changed so let me group it over here and i would like to get the complete diagram over here here now you are having the hana db right here now you are having the hana db your database server now is getting you know changed with the hana db at the application server layer you are having over here the apart from so earlier like here i'm talking over here about the ecc context okay so you were having the ecc like sd mmp pps all those stuff okay but when hana came into picture right at the application server a layer sap came up with a product called business suit on hana so here instead of ecc they put up over here crm and srm different you know product as well so you can see that this these are the set of product so this set of product is also known as the business suite okay and that's why this was known as business suite on hana because you have the multiple product over here so in the business suite on hana in the application server layer in terms of table and data model we are not any changed there was no change at the program level and there was no change at the table level there was no change at the data model level only the software different software were combined together and this product was known as the business suit on hana okay everything was same from the technical perspective right only at the database layer database got changed and then after in 2015 sap came up with a product called s4 hana right in s4 hana there was huge change in s4 hana there was huge change from the technical perspective here at the application server layer now you have s4 hana application server here your data model got changed you know so instead of mara marsi mardi so if you think about the material master you know mm module there mara marsi mardi all these tables were converted into the mat doc table in accounting many tables you know many tables got converted into ac doca table okay they were combined together and put into single table okay and other table where you know because simply we are not you you can't remove the table all the programs and everything will keep on giving the dump right so for that purpose they replaced those tables and all with the replacement object and sometimes they created the corresponding cds view for the purpose of replacement right so but here just to understand that there was a drastic change at the data model level multiple tables got replaced with the huge table called mad doc ac doca and in the different modules with the different tables here this is for mm and this is for sd there can be several tables but the thing over here is to understand that you know whether it is the s4 hana or it is the business suit on hana everywhere hana database you are having right why they came up with the s4 hana application 
you know why they came up with the is for hana because they were not able to leverage the power of hana what they expected you know because here you can see that they were having the same program same data model as how it was here at the application server layer right uh, with this they were not able to leverage the power of hana so they completely changed the data model and there they were able to fetch the data from the hana db more effectively right they were able to optimize the code more effectively and that's where the abap on hana concept comes into picture so in s4 hana you have the maximum performance improvement chances because this is optimized as per the hana db however if you have the business suit on hana also if you are going to follow the abap on hana best practices right if you are going to follow the code for abap on hana you are going to leverage the power of hana database okay you are going to leverage the power of hana database so how you are going to do this this is the question how you are going to leverage the power of this hana db over here right whether this is business suit on hana or whether this is you know s4 hana you have some technique to follow okay because earlier you were writing maximum business processing logic over here at the application server layer right you were writing maximum processing logic over here at the application server layer right this approach was known as the bottom up approach right here what you are going to do that maximum business processing logic you know you have to write it over here at the hana db you know you if you have to use the aggregate function like mean max you know uh, average sum right count so all these aggregate function you can now use you can use the multiple inner join you know here in earlier we were not supposed to use multiple inner join instead we are supposed to use for all entries right if you all if you are already from the abap background right we were using the for all entries that gives us the better performance than multiple uh, inner join right but here what is the case if you have the hana db go for the inner join go for the aggregate function there is nothing to worry you know you were supposed to use because mean max average is a code post down way right here if you use the mean max average sum this aggregate function that is going to get executed at the hana db and you know that your hana db is very powerful why because of its hardware improvement you know its hardware is very much improved it is installed at ram level right it is installed at ram level it is having the advanced software it is having the column storage way of storing the data it is having row storage way of storing the data right so both the option it is having column storage way provides you very much good efficiency with this aggregate function which is very good for olap online analytical processing means for the purpose of analytics for the purpose of bi or bw for the purpose of huge report where you have to analyze maximum data you know there this hana db performs very well you know because of its column storage way of storing the data hope i'm making sense over here and you are able to understand the concept okay the question over here is how you can utilize the power of hana db how you can utilize this power of hana db so much advanced concept right hana db if you talk about its hardware it is made up of multiple cores and you know multiple nodes and one node can contain up to 64 nodes 
okay uh, 64 cores and one core speed is uh, around one uh, 2 mbps right so if you combine together you know it will take minimum hardly one second to uh, uh, scan one gb of data right so all those stuff if you will see together this hana db is very powerful because of its a uh, hardware improvement and because of its uh, software improvement right so the question comes over here how to utilize the power of hana and that's where you know you can see that this is your application server this is your hana db right you have to push the code down over here right earlier you were writing maximum code over here right just you were fetching the data from this correct but now maximum code you have to write it over here why because your hana is very powerful it can perform well and whatever you have the data required just to give the final data to this application server why to get all those data then do the processing and then do the filtering over here at the application server here now not required because your hana is so powerful you are supposed to utilize the power of this hana db either this is business suit on hana or this is s4 hana any of the product if you are having just the thing is that your hana db should be installed okay so for this purpose we come up with the concept called code push down that means you are pushing the code from here to here that means instead of writing the code at application server layer you are going to write the code at hana db layer okay this is what we have the code push down now we'll be looking into the various code push down techniques okay let's go to the next slides and see the various code push down techniques at this point of time can every one of you confirm is it clear did you understand why code push down is required if you understood the concept just write here in the chat box clear here in the chat box just write clear so that i will get the understanding yes you are getting the concept well over here so thank you for your confirmation you understood the concept of code push down now let us see what are the various code push down available over here okay so various code push down techniques okay so the very first technique is our own open sql now open sql comes in the flavor of new open sql from netweaver 7.40 onwards okay new open sql this new open sql is really very advanced and very capable of doing the code push down why because in the new open sql itself you can do the case and when statement that means you can perform if and else okay you can do the concatenation okay you can do the concatenation right you can uh you know you can uh, earlier open sql also used to provide the aggregate function here also you can do the aggregate function right so and there are several you know inbuilt function inbuilt sql function you can use over here here and all this case and when concatenation where it is going to get work at the database layer that means you are leveraging the power of hana right so even currently if you are having the old database you are not supposed to use the aggregate function you are not supposed to use the case and when statement all right why because however the new open sql is supported by every kind of database right because this is a open sql correct this is a open sql it gets converted at the application server layer by the database interface right here you have one small software component the software component is known as database interface di we can tell database ei or database abstraction interface 
okay either you tell database interface or database abstraction interface what it does it converts your open sql or new open sql okay any kind of open sql into the corresponding native sql so database does not understand your open sql okay database understand only its native sql it's the native language so the database abstraction interface converts the open sql into the native sql of the corresponding database so here you have the hana db this data interface you know this this software component you have here also and you have here also so it converts the open sql into the native sql of hana here also the same thing here it will convert into the you know, whatever the database. If you have the Oracle database, it will convert into Oracle native SQL. It will convert into Cybis native SQL. Whatever the database installed as per, it will convert. All right. So this concatenation, aggregation, case and vein will be converted into the corresponding native language of the HANA database. Right. And that's where you are able to achieve the code push down. I will be showing you few examples by going into the system. Okay, let me list down the different code push down techniques over here. Another powerful technique you have the information model. Okay, so in information model you have three types of view: attribute view, you have analytical view, you have the calculation view. So you have the three types of view, basically. This attribute and analytical view is kind of getting deprecated, okay? This is kind of getting deprecated, but the calculation view is very powerful, okay? And the future is very good for the calculation view. So we are supposed to understand about this calculation view. So this is a, this this all this information model attribute view analytical view and calculation view this is based upon the graphical editor tool simply drag and drop just you drag over here drop over here you know with the help of one uh, line you can combine the two table uh, and their fields on which you want to perform the inner join or you know uh, or different kinds of join. You have the different kinds of join over there, inner join, differential join, text join, you know, SPT join. So different, different joins you are having, you can simply perform with the help of, with the help of a single uh, line. And for that line, you can define the property, right? So here it is not possible to go in very much detail, but just to understand that is a graphical tool, drag and drop tool, right? And with the help of that, you can perform the inner join. You can perform some complex logic like converging uh, currency conversion kind of stuff. Also, you can do it over there. And that is very much convenient for the people who is not having the, you know, very much technical knowledge or they are uh, not very sound in technical like this SQL and all that tool is very good. So generally that is used by the functional people or BI or BW people or by the business user, okay? We can also learn this calculation view because this calculation view each come into two flavor. One is the graphical based, uh, graphical editor based calculation view. And another is the SQL script based calculation view. So as a developer, if we know both, it is going to be, more beneficial okay that's why we are supposed to learn we are supposed to know at least about the calculation view okay now the third topic so what happens actually when you create the calculation view uh, you are going to create this using the hana studio okay i will be showing you today about the hana studio also there you can use the graphical editor tool in any of the hana mode hana administration mode or hana development mode i will be showing you that might be at this point of time not making more sense so nothing to worry okay so you know and uh, there you can create the calculation view and all right 
and once you create the calculation view and activate it generates the corresponding hana view okay that means directly at the database layer directly at the database layer so all these modeling and all you are going to do directly at the database layer that means this is also a code push down right because you are writing your logic your you are doing the modeling directly at the database layer correct now the third a d b c okay a d b c about database connectivity or native sql directly also you can use the native sql but this is not that much you know uh popular or that much recommended however in some specific scenario you can use this one so we will just understand the concept of adbc with the help of few examples and we will understand also about the native sql because we are not going to use this more however this is also a kind of code push down technique but not be discussing more because this are generally getting used in a specific scenario for example if some of the tables are not present at the you know application server layer only at present at the db layer in that case you can use the native sql right and it is not so straightforward to use this you know however this also we are going to learn in a detail it is important i will be discussing its importance you know in the detailed class okay so this is another code push down technique another is the sql script very powerful code push down technique and most of the focus is going to be there on the sql script okay why it is important because with the help of this you can achieve the complex business logic okay you can achieve the complex business logic with the help of sql script okay with the help of sql script you are going to achieve the complex business logic that's the beauty of sql script very powerful you know and if you want to be really a true abap on hana developer you must be good in the sql script there is no other way okay the sql script the benefit of this is that you can achieve the complex business logic and if you are master in sql script you can be master in the stored procedure creating the stored procedure right and you can be also master in developing the amdp okay amdp so amdp is another code post down technique which is nothing but you know how you can consume the sql script so amdp is nothing but a bap way of consuming the sql script so you must be so first you should know about the sql script then only you can consume right okay so you must be very good in sql script then only you can be master in amdp abap managed database procedure awesome concept this amdp super concept and there are lot of advantages of using the amdp with the help of this you are not going to deal directly with the hana db no you will not be having the direct authorization of hana db still you can write the code on the hana db okay in the amdp method because once the the very first time when amdp method is going to get called it creates the stored procedure at the hana db layer so all these things we are going to discuss in detail but here you just understand this is very very powerful technique you know very very powerful technique the first powerful technique is open sql another powerful technique you can tell about this calculation view and amdp is another most powerful technique you know and last you know cds last is the cds very very powerful very very popular and it is having you know lot of reusability one cds you can use for the various purposes that's why it is so much popular that's why it is so much popular one cds you can use for the purpose of generating the odata services using a very simple annotation called odata dot publish colon true 
right? Just you will have to write this one and that's it. Your O data is going to get generated. So DCDS provides you, you know, the annotation. This is full of annotations, right? Association concept, it drastically improves the performance, right? Association, it improves a lot of performance association, right? Because of exposed association, right? Association on demand, join on demand, right? We also tell it the inner join. We also tell it lazy join. So different, different kinds of concepts we are having over there. All these things we will be looking into that in detail with the help of examples. Annotations, associations, path expression, right? Then you have the concept of VDM, virtual data model. What is this? So this is the way of structuring your CDS so that you can use your CDS in most effective way. This is what the VDM, virtual data model. There is, this is just a concept how you are going to organize your CDS. This is basically your CDS only, but how you are going to structure your CDS, how you are going to organize your CDS, that what it gives you at the video virtual data model. You have three types, basic, composite, and consumption. All these three types we are going to discuss in detail. Okay, so these are the code push down techniques. For ALV purpose, you have ALV IDA right so if you want to leverage the power of code push down technique you can use the alv idea this is a specific to alv okay about list viewer <clears throat> this also you can learn you have the concept of hana search or text search right this is possible this was possible because of hana Okay, this is not the code push down technique, you know, HANA search and text search, but this is a feature of, you know, a HANA which enables you to have the fast search, HANA search, text search, you know, fuzzy search, different, different terms we are having, different, different search we are having, okay, all these things we are going to, you know, discuss. Okay, so these are the code push down techniques. So let me start with the open SQL. I will give you one example over here. Okay, I will be giving you a few examples and then we will be looking into this. Okay, so come here and go to this system. Okay, let me go to the SAP login pad. This is the HANA Studio. This is HANA Studio where you are going to use to write, you know, uh, to create your information model, to create your CDS, to create your, you know, AMDP and all this stuff here. It's this HANA Studio you are going to do. Okay. So let me log into the normal GUI. Here you can use the new Open SQL. Go to SE38 and AOH demo 24th october click on this create button aoh uh, code push down techniques using open sql Type executable program, click on the save button and click on this local object. So see here, if you are from already a background, you know, let's suppose your requirement is something like display the material data as output, okay. Display the material data as output and uh, with material type description, okay. Material type description. So display the material data. In the material data, you have the Matner, 
you have mtart you know you have the material group okay along with these three data you want to material type description as well so how we used to do with the help of old open sql right we used to create types you know begin of ts underscore you know mara a matner type a matner then another we have the mtar type mtar then we have another field called matkl type matkl and one more field we have that the material description matds c type let's give this cap 50 okay end of ts underscore mara so one structure we have declared it over here one internal table i would require the old way if you consider you know it underscore mara type table of ts underscore mara right and let me declare one work area also wa underscore mara like a line of various way of declaring the work area we know right i'm here using the reference of already declared internal table now old open sql i'm going to use okay select a matner m tart m a t k l okay from mara into table it underscore mara right this is what we write as a old open sql and then loop at it underscore mara into w a underscore mara end loop you know and what you want to do material description material type description you want to you know so for roh for ROH, you want to tell the description. ROH stands for what? Can you tell me? ROH stands for what? Right? Raw material, correct? And HALB. Can you tell me HALB stands for what? Semi finished, right? And can you tell me FEAT stands for what? This is the finished. This is going to be a stand for finished. So this material description we want to you know a display along with this matner mtart and matkl right that's why i have put one extra fields over here right now come over here and uh let me do one thing i'm going to display the output cl underscore without material description so you have one very good class called cl demo output very easy to use you can use this class for the purpose of displaying the data easily okay check the syntax over here some error is there m a t n r this should be m a t n r okay control f2 control f3 and it got activated press f8 <clears throat> and here you can see that material material type material uh, material group material description we are not populating so not coming right so what you will do now we have to populate the material description come over here and you have to write w underscore mara hyphen <clears throat> m t a r you know m t a r t equals to raw material okay else if Again, you can give one more else if copy this, <clears throat> paste it, paste it. Here you have a FIT and here you have a HLB, right? So if this you have, you are going to give W underscore Mara hyphen mat description equals to what the raw material right and similarly just copy this one paste it over here paste it over here here you have what a finished good or finished material maybe we can write and here we have the semi-finished
okay we are done we are almost done and in case of like else you can give you know that don't know the material type do not know okay and then you have to modify so this much code actually you have to from w a underscore mara index psi tabix this much code you have to write it in order to you know display the material description press f8 and you can see that abc all these things do not know do not know because the material type you are having other than other than roh and all those things so if you have somewhere roh you will be able to see that you know the material type here you can see that finished material is coming because it is feit so it is coming perfectly right it is coming perfectly it is coming perfectly okay so this is how we are displaying about the material description okay for the different material type most of the time do not know is coming because this is not matching with you know uh, uh roh or halb or you know feit that's why right, not noise coming so that's perfectly fine because of the data we are getting that output now the same thing same thing with the help of new open sql and new syntaxes you can achieve so smoothly using the code post down technique okay so i will show you see this much code you will have to write now just comment this one okay and come here use the new open sql select and in new open sql you can use the you know inline declaration also so select matnr mtart matkl also you can use the case and when statement okay case what is the field on which you want to put the condition mtart okay so mtkl this is give the comma over here case mtart when roh when it is roh then what you want to display you want to display this raw material okay again again just put control d okay again put control d control d okay so case mtart now not required this you know only one time case is required so case and when statement you can use in new open sql in old sql not possible okay so case mtart when roh then raw material when roh uh, another what you have halb right halb so for halb you are having over here semi finished let me copy from here and put it over here and you have the feit for feit you have the finished material correct just put it over here the finished material that's it the three and when others means else when others okay All right when others then just uh, we can give that don't know do not know end as so i want to give that name material description okay that custom field name we want to give like this and then fish table from mara table right from mara into table at the rate data it underscore mara see how simple this is let me check the syntax first others i think some problem is there unknown column name 
Mm. Here you can write. Let me check the syntax quickly. Press you know F1 over here and see other the way which we are writing the others it is not supporting. So just press F1 and quickly we'll get the help of uh, the documentation. From there we will see how uh, we have to use the. So you can see that else we have to write. There is no others kind of stuff. Just you will have to write the else. Okay. So let's go and just use the else over here. Else, don't know, check the syntax now. There is no problem. Activate this one. It got activated. And now if you just run it, see here what you are getting, right? Not know for FEIT. So using the new OpenSQL, how easy writing the code is, and also the performance is also going to get improved because in backend, what database you are having? Just go and check in system under the status, click on this product version. And here, this is the NetWeaver version 7.53. And look out, look out over here. You know, S4 HANA on premise 1809, right? This is the S4 HANA version. That means your database is obviously going to be the HANA database. From here also, you can see database is HTB, right? So if you were there on the uh, buy upon, uh, you know, business suite on HANA, you can go and check out like your database is there HDB, you know? So if your database is HDB, either you will be there on the S4 HANA or you will be there on the business suite on HANA, mostly, right? You understood this code push down technique, right? You are able to see over here how convenient in just single line, you know, without declaration of this stuff, without doing all these things, we are able to do with the help of new open SQL over here. Isn't it amazing, right? So these things we need to learn. There are many things which is there in the new syntaxes, like loop at group by miss and misses type, right? Condition. A new way a new way of uh, using the conversion exit right there are so many things came with the 7.40 right so those things all those syntaxes we are going to cover in the course okay now let's go to the hana studio and i will show you how you can <clears throat> so first code push down you just had the glimpse over here for the first code push down right here. This is the new open SQL. There are so many things. This is just a, a demo, right? So uh, Parmita is telling in select you have used matner twice instead of uh, mtart, is it? Let me check it. The matner mtart, matkl, not twice, right? Here we have to give the case statement, right Parmita? then only we can pour the case and vein, right? So this is one MTART, MATNER also we have, MTART also we have, material group also we are having, and case MTART over here we are having, right? Okay, any other question from anyone over here? If any question, just put here in the chat box or else in another 10 minutes, I'm going to unmute you. You can ask any of the question from this, you know? Okay, okay. Okay, fine. So now I think it is fine. You know, might be at that point of time. I have already corrected the thing what you are telling, right? Good. Okay, so come over here in the HANA Studio. See, you should know how to use the HANA Studio, HANA Studio or ADT on Eclipse, right? Either these two you will have to use for the purpose of using another code post down techniques like information model, like CDS like amdp okay so all these things would must require either hana studio or adt on eclipse otherwise it won't be possible okay so now see here this is the abap perspective if you want to develop amdp you have to go into abap perspective so how to do the uh, how to develop the amdp and all it will take more time to show me 
okay if you want to see about the amdp and all i have already created the videos on my youtube okay just to go and check and learn from there okay or else you can join this course which is going to be a start from first of november so anything is fine if you want to learn only the amdp okay other thing i will show you quickly over here if you want to create some procedure kind of stuffs if you want to create the stored procedure if you heard about the stored procedure i will quickly show you that is again one code push down technique which you are going to consume with the help of amdp right earlier they were getting consumed using the procedure proxy but now procedure proxy concept is getting deprecated so we are using the amdp this is the suggested way so see this is your hana server in this hana server you are having this folder called catalog this is the collection of schemas schemas are nothing but dedicated area these are the logically created area inside the database for the purpose of dedicated work this is like a folder right in your system you have created multiple folder right so in the same way these are the different different folders you are having these are known as schemas okay so catalogs are collection of schemas got my point now you should know through which schema your sap system is connected you can go to the system you can go to the status or you can go to the dba cockpit uh, transaction and from there also you can find see here right see here you know see here you can see that this is your schema sap hana db right you can go to the sap hana db schema why because i have to fetch the data from the same schema or application server is connected through the same schema so it will be easier for me to use that one otherwise it is by default connected with abap hana one schema this schema okay i'm searching for the sap hana db schema so one hana db you can see the multiple schema have been created and for the different purposes it is getting used so this is the sap hana db schema okay so through this schema your database table you can look into your like mara table and all you can go and see over there now here you know i will be discussing just few uh, like suppose you want to you know fetch some data right so you can use the native sql over here so the open sql and native sql you may find some similarity but exactly it is not same okay so here you can see that select a matner give the comma mtart give the comma matkl from mara table you know and press effect so it is fetching the data from mara table of this schema sap hana db schema okay so up to 10 rows like suppose if you want to use up to 10 rows it does not support because here at hana studio the code which you are writing this is a native sql okay so native sql up to 10 rows does not support so if you execute you can see that in red color this error is coming so for up to 10 rows here you have the syntax called limit 10 okay if you press f8 so it will give you the 10 you understood here we are using the native sql open sql does not work over here open sql will work at the application server layer okay or either you will have to go into the abap perspective and create a abap project and there you start writing in a report the open sql okay hope you are getting my point what i am trying to discuss it over here now i will create one a small procedure so that you will get the idea how we are going to create the procedure just a simple procedure however the sql script itself takes around 10 to 12 hours to learn in detail but just i am going to give you a demonstration how the sql script you can use in the stored procedure so syntax is create procedure you know and the name of the procedure here you will have to give so a o h a demo just i am writing it over here and today is 24th so just 24th october and 
here you can give the multiple input parameters. So I'm just going to give a parameter called am underscore m tart and you have to give it a data type. So this is your data type in wire car, you know, in wire car. It supports the Unicode format also. What is this Unicode and all? We will be learning over there, but here just to understand, you know, how we are going to use this procedure, okay? Here you'll have to give the comma, otherwise it will start giving you the error, okay? Out, and here you have to define the table. So IT underscore Mara, here you can give the table type or you can use the table declaration at runtime also. So not using the table type, okay? Because for that you need to create the table type. I have not, you know, for creating the table type again, you will have to use the syntax, create type as table, right? And you can use that table type, right? Here simply I'm going to give, a, a, a declare the table at design time. So a matner, and the data type you give over here in var car 40 comma m t a r t in var car 4 and then comma once again m a t k l what's the other data type for this can you tell me the length of this it is having the of nine characters right so there if you see at the above we have the character data type but here at the HANA level, we are having the in, where, where, right? Because you are doing the coding at the HANA database level, right? So in and out, we have written, right? Now come over here and you have multiple other stuffs also, but those are optional. You should know, right? What are the other things also? Let's keep it simple, not go into that much detail, you know? as begin is another important part of the syntax and end okay and here this it underscore mara you know copy this paste it over here select matner comma m dot comma m a t k l from mara hmm? and under the schema sap hana db schema how we are doing it over here, right? Let's just execute this. And it is giving us the error. Let's see what's the error over here. Okay. Edge begin it underscore Mara, select matter m dot m a t k l from Mara. This also looks good for me. You know, let's do one thing. In this schema, I'm having also the authorization issue, just I remember, you know. So let's go to the ABAP on HANA uh, one schema in order to, you know, make the things more uh, feasible because I'm having the, if everything is going to be fine also due to authorization, I will not be able to create in that schema, that procedure, right? Now you click on this execute button here. Now it is giving me the, error okay let's see what's the error out table is this one this is okay one more you will have to give right this is one opening bracket for this this is the closing bracket all right and for this this is the closing brackets right so one bracket was missing that's why it is giving the error execute this now again some error is coming so nothing to worry it happens with the you know uh sql script you have to be you have to become habituated of such kind of error you know this will have to read it this error and you have to you know uh correct it so here it's telling could not find this table view and all these things in mara table so the meaning of this means this mara table is not present in this schema in which schema it is present I told you it is there in the SAP HANA DB schema. So just give before that SAP HANA DB schema, right? And now if you execute this one, you can see that it's working fine, right? There is no issue, correct? 
already this procedure is now created and again if you create it will tell that boss it is already created why you are trying to create again and again you can see that it's telling already created duplicate name or function right so in order to avoid this error either you have to drop it or you will have to write one more syntax called replace create or replace so if already created it will deploy replace but this syntax is not supported in all the version of uh, hana database you know so it is there in sps06 if uh, i think sps04 and all this create or replace will not be supported you will have to use drop procedure and this before creating this you will have to drop first and then you have to create so that this error will not come okay fine execute this one and you can see that now it's getting executed perfectly and now open one more sql console and how to call this procedure over here for the purpose of testing call just give the name of this procedure over here and how many parameters you are passing a one two parameters one in parameter second out parameter so the two question mark will have to give it over here that which is representing the parameters two parameters that means two question mark will have to pass and it's telling you know so in one import parameter what i'm passing i'm underscore enter this material type so you can use in where condition that one where m tart equals to i m underscore m tart okay execute once again it got created roh just give and execute this one and here you can see that the output you are getting your stored procedure got executed and you are getting the output this is very simple stored procedure just i wanted to demonstrate how you can create the stored procedure and how you can call there are so many things to learn it over here okay mainly the temporary table operation the way you perform the internal table operation at the application server layer in above in the same way you can do the manipulation with this temporary table right with this internal table over here all those operations we will be learning in more detail cds also we are having but i won't be able to demonstrate everything over here you must be knowing already about the cds right and you might have created also few cds but there are so many concept need to be learned like association path expression vdm and all those stuffs right in order to become a efficient abap on hana developer i'm done with my demo if you have any question please go and ask going to unmute you over here you know and feel free to ask the question you know you can unmute now yourself and if you have anything any question related with this training is going to start from first of next month if you are interested just contact me for other detail i will give you the other detail apart from that server and all i will be not providing directly i will be giving you the server provider detail you can directly get it the server from there the server cost is going to be somewhere around for 3 months 2000 to 2500 for 3 months okay abap on hana with ui5 server any other detail any other thing if you want to ask please let me know your line is unmuted now yeah hi pankaj uh, this is yeah. sunny yeah sunny yeah please tell me yeah how can we know like uh, the system is a business suit or s4 hana see is there any particular uh, hmm, where, yeah uh, you can know yeah let me show you you can go to the system go to the status okay okay go to this here and go to the installed product version if it is not there you know like s4 hana on premise you will okay. be able to see somewhere like something like ecc and all you know so if it is there like ecc uh, version okay s4 should not be there if it is not s4 only you have the option left with you know business suit on hana if hana is installed over there okay okay s4 hana should not be there okay yeah any Thank other you. question no problem any other question from anyone else related with this 
topic or related with the trainings if you have you can feel free to ask me or you can contact me on my whatsapp number already you were, you must be part of that whatsapp group from there you can get the number and you can contact me okay fine then Hello. thank yeah please tell me yeah yeah hi, hi, hi. thank you yeah uh, like in my uh, environment like in my project mm-hmm. uh, we do have a kind of uh, like when we uh, I, i can remember that when we create a tables we mm-hmm. do have a option to create a row column row or column wise mm mm-hmm. okay so is, uh, when i saw the which which uh, kind of database it is it is oracle database itself okay mm mm-hmm. so can we create a like like uh, is it it is something uh, uh, same with the hana database or something different like no, so this net weaver actually here if you see this uh, this is the this is this gui this this is the feature of that column store and row store is the feature of your net weaver application here it is designed so for example if you go for this mara it does not matter whether you know you have uh, the oracle database or uh, 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 what database you know this feature you will able to see you know this this you will be able to see but there did you check like uh, there it was column storage selected or row storage selected if oracle it, uh, uh, as per my understanding that should be the row storage selected if because yes, yes, yes. it was a row storage right yes it was it was but i i confused with the column storage like why it is being given yeah no that will be given but that will not be supported because your uh, oracle database however uh, um, as i know oracle is also providing uh, the means i think they are also developing this column storage way and all but sap is not taking their Uh, databases for this column store sap is using hana database for column store so it will not allow you to you know change to the column store because your database is not the hana database so even if you try to create one custom table and try to use the column store on that oracle database you will not be able to do so just give a try over there you know because okay. yeah in hana database you will be able to do because hana database supports that one and nowadays various vendors started uh, you know started so uh, creating or this was actually not the new concept this in memory database was not the new concept for this uh, sap you know it was already there in the market sap just adopted you know so already we were having uh, many other databases in memory database you know so i think oracle also oracle is the leader in this hana uh, in database uh, field so uh, they would have also created you know but the one which you have in the system uh, I, i don't think so because sap is having its own database hana database so people would prefer to go with the hana database rather going to the you know oracle database for the column storage okay okay, okay. Uh, i i do have a one more or two more questions can i go with yeah yeah please yes yeah go ahead yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, actually from like from the last few days i'm trying to understand the hana like a map on hana and s4 hana mm-hmm. so I, as far as i understood like s4 hana is just a framework where we do write the code a kind of a, like just for the uh, as application server we can assume it like where do we do write the code and hana is just like a database for, mm-hmm. from which we, we we are getting the records and all right so uh, yeah so like uh, what is the difference like i do see that uh, some people use adt tool a web development tools and somewhere uh, uh, they directly use uh, the net viewer itself like while re- creating the report itself so likewise you created the report right here in the net viewer itself. yeah like so report you can see report you can create in hana studio or adt on eclipse there also you know report you can create anywhere but for amdp cds and information model this stuff you will not be able to create directly in the you know gui this normal gui which i have done the very first time you know, here okay. yes yes here you will not be able to create but report you will be able to create in hana studio adt and here also you know here here also you can do okay Okay. And, and like, 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 
let's say i'm i'm moving uh, from uh, acp aba like easy from uh, to, uh, from acp to hana aba to no hana i'm mm-hmm. trying to get uh, i'm trying to upgrade myself mm-hmm. so uh, like like at the coding level like basic coding level we are creating a table table maintenance generator we are coding we are coding inside the event or something like this giving an example so is it something seen will be seen in our app on hana or is even the these things will be different same 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 is going to be there huh? same is going to be there okay okay so yeah. like it is not a much difficulty i will be facing if i upgrade myself in a hana environment no 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 not uh, only the concept the thing is that you know for table maintenance generator and all going uh, things going to remain same only the things where you have to uh, uh, deal with the data you know when you have to deal mm. with the data like the maximum a logic maximum processing logic and optimized data you are supposed to get from the database and for that purpose we have the concept of this uh, hana uh, abaya pon hana where we can learn those techniques in order to push the code down that's it you know all most of the things going to remain same some some things like you know you should learn about the cds mdp information model new open sql new syntaxes in order to you know uh become a more efficient coder however if you are going to write previous code also that is going to fine but that is not going to be efficient that is the thing okay actually like uh, uh i prepared with your ppts and all like which is earlier uh, uh, interview question you you mm-hmm. given on the youtube and all mm-hmm. so i prepared with that i and I, i got few few offers from the organization and good, one of good. them they yeah. are yeah and mm-hmm. for for that uh, i'm very thankful to you that you prepared that kind of thing and it helps a lot for us okay so very thank, thank you. you for that thank yeah. you thank and you. Yeah. the thing is uh, they are offering me as a acp abap hana abap mm-hmm. on hana as okay. a, but i do not have a much experience on that i do not even like mm-hmm. have a hands on experience i just mm-hmm. work on easy mm-hmm. So yeah. if I go, will it be a more challenging for a ECP app or or like it is it is just a kind of a, like a few changes or you have to learn? You you have to learn. You know you have to learn the CDS SQL script. Means you mm-hmm. should have some hands on because. you know however because you already working in abap they they are going to give you the work you will be able to do so you know yeah. there are yeah you can take help of blogs or like if you want to attend the training you can attend the training also and uh, there are many you know materials you can get from uh, if you are good in abap or if you know some basics of the cds and all and even if you don't know you can learn yourself you know Yes, yes, I yeah, know. yeah. From the blog and all, you can take help. And there are many videos available on the YouTube. From there also, you can take the helps. So there is nothing to you know worry. Uh, you can do it. Uh, it it all depends on you know uh, okay. to go and take the challenge. You know. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thanks no lot. problem. You are welcome. Anyone else having any question, or shall we stop it over here? I think it should be fine now. fine then thank you very much for attending the session and in case if you are interested please do reach out to me the session the training session is going to start from the first of next month once again thanks bye bye have a nice day enjoy today india and pakistan match <laughs> okay okay